An Australian scientific discovery using stem cells derived from human skin brings new treatment hope for a range of diseases. For the first time in Australia, researchers from the University of Melbourne and Monash Institute of Medical Research have converted skin cells into stem cells using human biopsies from patients with the rare genetic disease Friedrich's ataxia. Dr Paul Verma and his research team at the Monash Institute of Medical Research converted the original skin cells and made them into iPS cells for use by the University of Melbourne researchers. Dr Elise Pebay and Dr Marilla de Torre, co-leaders of the study from the University of Melbourne, characterised and directed the Friedrich's ataxia iPS cells to become specific cell types including heart cells and nerves. The advantage of having induced pluripotent stem cells is that they can be used to generate all the various different cell types in the body. And so for Friedrich's ataxia iPS cells, we can use those to generate the cell types that specifically degenerate in this disease. So that includes heart cells or nerve cells. What is significant about this finding, what we find so excited, is the fact that it's the first Australian report uh, for the generation of iPS cells coming from a, a specific disease. It's the first time that happened in Australia. The significance of this work will be potentially in the generation of um, cells for transplantation for organs in the future, and also more uh, in the short term, the fact that these cells can be used for drug screening to understand how drugs can act on specific cells, as well as for the generation of specific cell type and understanding, of course, of specific diseases, processes along the way. It's the collective effort of clinicians, scientists, patients and the Friedrichs Ataxia Research Association, Australasia and in the United States, which has made this discovery possible. Currently there are no treatments for FA. It's the most common inherited disease of its type. One in 30,000 people suffer from Friedrich ataxia. However, we haven't been able to find a treatment as yet. But now this research holds great hope that we might be able to do that in the near future. We're extremely excited about the results from the stem cell research. We've been very proud to support it on behalf of the Friedrich Ataxia Research Association. I have a sister and a brother who have FA, so I know exactly what impact this research has on people and their hope that there might be a treatment developed for this disease in the near future. The study was done in collaboration with the Murdoch Children's Research Institute, Monash University, Austin Health and the O'Brien Institute.